the Epic Shops with Planer, every now and then, just like this, the uh, height adjustment seems to jam. What's happening is the height or the bed of the planer is raised or lowered on four screws. And uh, these screws sometimes become impacted with sawdust and sometimes you can power your way through it, but it's really not recommended because what could happen is if it's really stuck, the little sprockets down here will jump on the chain and the screws will become out of sync and the bed sort of warped. So what you need to do is, is this. Let's uh, disconnect the dust collection and uh, raise the back shield. Here's the, uh, here's the little culprits right here. It's these threads right in there. And we want to clean those out. Now normally, when this is sticking, you can lower the bed. So I'm going to lower the bed all the way. And then I'm going to take what is called a file card. Uh, this card has a lot of really small wires very close together. It's made for cleaning out the, the threads uh, or the, the teeth of a file. But I'm going to use it against the threads here. I'm going to lower, I'm going to have to sort of semi-close this. I'm going to lower the table all the way. And then I'm going to raise it all the way, pressing those those wires into the threads. That cleans them out. I'll do the same over here. And the same on the end feed side. One of the reasons I like these file cards is because they are so wide they clean all the threads all at once. You can use wire brushes, but I have less luck than wire, with wire brushes because they aren't quite stiff enough. You could also use these uh, welding brushes made for removing slag and so forth, but I don't have very good luck with these either because they're so far apart. The best thing I've been able to find is these file cards, and as you can see, the uh, threads are now clean and cleared. I'm Nick Angler, director of the Shopsmith National Woodworking Academy. And uh, we have all sorts of good tips like that. Hope to see you here. Bye. <laughs>